Welcome uh, to Supercomputing uh, 2024. Nokia is very proud uh, to be here. We have been uh, participating uh, in this event uh, almost uh, over a decade now. We uh, contribute uh, with uh, IP and optical products to build uh, the, the network named the SCINet that uh, supports uh, the, this conference. It is a very large conference with uh, almost 14,000 uh, attendees and it is necessary a high capacity network to support this event. The network behind me here does have the capacity of uh, 100 terabits per second. This is an amazing capacity for an event like this. If uh, you look at the effective throughput of this network right now, it is almost uh, 9 terabits per second. It is a multi-vendor network and it supports uh, all the, the research, uh, demos, uh, everything that, uh, that the HPC community it is demonstrating here at, uh, at this event. So I would like to show you from all this traffic that is coming from, not only from uh, universities and uh, research labs within the US, but also from organizations in other countries and other continents. This map here shows uh, all the international connections to the event. You have 100 gig and 400 gig links connecting uh, multiple countries around the globe to this event uh, in Atlanta. So you see connectivity to several countries in Europe, 100 and 400 gig connection to South America, to Southeast Asia, and also China, Japan, and Australia. Uh, it's amazing actually, considering it takes almost a year to plan, a month to build, a week to operate, and we tear it all back down in one day. So it's pretty impressive. It's the world's largest temporary network and it's a production network. All the exhibitor booths are connected to the outside world, either to the public internet or to various research institutes around the world through this network. So Synet is both the organization that operates this network as well as the network itself we refer to as Synet. Uh, Nokia contributes equipment every year to Synet. Uh, this year, our contribution is about 36 terabits worth of capacity if you add up both the IP and the optical network equipment. On the network behind me, you'll see a couple places where the Nokia equipment is deployed. Uh, in the center is the wired portion of the network. At the bottom, you see a number of uh, 7220 IXR systems. These are providing layer two and layer three uh, services at 10 gig and one gig rates to the exhibitor booths uh, throughout the show. Uh, that gets aggregated up into uh, Arista and uh, Cisco core routers, which proves Nokia interoperability with, uh, in a multi-vendor environment. And this is really used for the commodity services to uh, provide access to uh, all the booths on the show floor. Uh, way off on the uh, far side of the network is a new area that we introduced this year called the Science DMZ. That's really uh, purpose built for high performance networking. So at the bottom of that section, you'll see a number of um, uh, network research uh, exhibitors. They're running tests at 100 gig, 400 gig, and even up to 1.6 terabits per second in that network infrastructure. And that's being connected uh, uh, through our uh, Nokia 7750 SR1SE uh, up at the top. It's really the heart of the network. So all the traffic coming and going, or most of the traffic coming and going through the network um, from the exhibition out to the outside world over the wide area network is running through the Nokia 7750 platform. In addition to that, the 7750 is running uh, 400 gig ZR optics between this router here and the ESnet pop in Atlanta, which is a first for uh, SD24 to have coherent routing uh, deployed at the, at the actual network. Also, this is the first year that Supercompute has deployed a high-performance cluster on the show floor, and connected to that is a Nokia 7250 IXR. It was selected due to its uh, deep buffering capabilities, which is really critical for delivering traffic uh, into a Supercompute cluster. In total, we've got uh, a number of different platforms from our IP portfolio all in a multi-vendor uh, networking environment. And uh, at this point now, I'll hand it off to Tim Drake, who will uh, share uh, information about the 1830 deployment here at the show as well. And what would a supercomputing show be without having high bandwidth going from the current institute all the way back down to Caltech here at the show? From the NOC, we are transporting 2.1 gigabit of traffic so they can conduct live research across the network. We're currently using the PSIM and of course the Nokia PSC chipset to do this. This is the first year that Nokia has provided wavelengths of over 400 gig across the show floor. 
utilizing the PSIM, we're able to transport this from the Knox Center to booth 845 to Caltech unamplified. And we are also monitoring the PSIM equipment using SNMP and streaming telemetry from the NOC. Looking forward to SC25, we will increase that bandwidth even higher as demand continues. But again, thank you and thanks for coming to the show.